additional support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Be Your Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Please encourage these student-athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. We would now like to introduce both teams. First, our guests from Monument Mountain. The Spartan Reserves, number seven, Neil Mahida. Number two, Ben Badersky. Number 12, Aiden Santos. Number 17, Wilson Sprague. Number zero, Rise Curtis. Number 11, Soren Smedvig. Number 16, Ben Haiga. Number five, Austin Holcomb. Number 19, Kalo Malika. Number eight, Nick Lucier. And number 21, Ty Higgins. Now for the Monument Starters, number 22, Tristan Alston. Double zero in goal, Kevin Kelly. Number 18, Robert Baldwin. Number 10, Henry Rosher. Number 4, Justin Broderick. Number 15, Costa Cami. Number nine, Noel Powell. Number three, Nate Lacombe. Number one, Garrett Hap. Number 13, Will Casarsa. And number 20, Patrick Young. The Spartans are coached by Matt Nevente. Now for your Red Hawk reserves. Number 21, Ari Venegas. Number 24, Connor Watkiss. Number 1, Hunter Wells. Number 2, Tim Barrington. Number 5, Kip Newman. Number 8, Tom Kirkalonis. Number 11, Ethan DeMeo. Number 13, Sam Battisti. Number 15, Sam Felton Emmerich. Number 22, Ryan Loveland. Number 7, Noah Graves. For the Red Hawk starters, number 95 in goal, Peter Bronke. Number 17, Alex Georgita. Number 4, Noah Jakes. Number 14, Tenzin Sendu. Number 18, Ben Morse. Number 19, Doug Haneski. Number 9, Connor Bagden. Number 12, Tyler Mayrand. Number 10, Zach Hamilton. Number 6, Ben Arnold. And number 3, Ethan LaFleur. The Red Hawks are coached by Dale Totman. Would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem? Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Frontier Community Access Television's broadcast of this uh, playoff quarterfinals between the Frontier Red Hawks and. Monument Mountain somethings. <laughs> yeah, we're looking to have a great showing between two of the elite teams in this uh, Western Mass Division Three tournament with a uh, number seven in Western Mass, Red Hawks facing off against the Monument Mountain 
some things. <laughs> <laughs> We're number 11 in Western Mass. So, you know, on paper, this is uh, Frontier is the, the favorite here, being the third seed. But uh, they played earlier in the year, and they played to a 1-1 draw, so we're definitely in for a good one. Yeah, both teams really uh, holding each other to a bare minimum and showcasing a great defensive effort in both ways. So it'll be interesting to see uh, which way this one goes tonight. For sure. Any key storylines to watch for you tonight? Well, you have uh, goalkeeper Peter Bronke for the Red Hawks uh, recovering still from a grievous injury from yeah. a few games ago. And it'll be interesting to see if he's fully recovered. Yeah, our sources tell us he's not quite at 100%, but he's a warrior, so he'll be out there. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> and we're underway here tonight. All right, it's cold, and as you can see, uh, every single... Uh, player has some type of sleeve on, except for Arnold. Well, Arnold's got the, the long uh, spandex on the bottom, it looks like. Uh, of course. Just sad to see, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, Arnold will be looking to send this one deep into the box for some early action in the six. We talked about his throw-ins before, always very powerful. Oh, yeah. And there it is. Frontier with an early shot. Couldn't quite get by the bodies. And Georgita looking long. But good defense. Now Arnold looking to put it deep in again. To Hamilton. Good steal by Nesky. Frontier controlling possession so far pretty well. Yeah, Monument struggling to connect passes. Nice Man, save. Good shot. Is that Hamilton on the shot? Frontier at the top of their league standings, and Monument Mountain second to Greylock, who will be looking to meet Frontier in the finals, maybe, if they can get past Belchertown. Yeah, another great team from the Berkshires is Mount Greylock, for sure. Mm, uh, also tying Frontier earlier in the year. Yeah. Frontier only uh, scoring off an own goal, I believe. So today, today's game was uh, postponed to tonight because of uh, weather, weather and rain on the field. So we'll see how the field uh, holds up today. Yeah, I got shredded up by some of these other teams. Football. Yeah. Monument starting to put some pressure. An exciting season for the Frontier Regional School girls team came to an end earlier today with a 4-0 loss to Munson. They yeah. put on a show all year, but just came up a little, sh little short in the tournament. Yeah, I couldn't quite get that second upset after upsetting Greylock before that. Ooh, gets by. Sindhu and Greylock at the side. Good 
against South by Georgia. Yeah, that strong back line head by, headed by Georgia this year has been the, definitely the strongest suit of Frontier's uh, team. Yeah, they tripped against uh, Bugstown, though. Yeah. That's that was a good one. With a wrestle. Yeah. What was that, a 4 0 loss there? Yep. Frontier are looking to get some revenge in this Western Mass final if they can face Bugstown again. Yeah. That's a tough one to recover from heading into the tournament, a loss like that. Mm -hmm. Just got to use the 24 hour rule and get over it, I guess. Yep. Just saw Mayran slip over here. Yeah, oh, oh good Hineski. check by Haneski. <laughs> Bringing those hockey skills into this. Like the award for uh, manliest on Frontier is going to go to Hineski tonight, though. Only a little bit of a long sleeve underneath. Yep. No long spandex, no gloves. Definitely rather ready to face the conditions. Yeah, true, a true pole. <laughs> Wins possession over there. Not only for a second. Here we go, Red. Here we go, Red. High praise from Topman. <laughs> Definitely likes what we've seen so far. Here we go, Red. Although they haven't been able to really get a legitimate chance. And Monument happy to get it out of danger. Most of these Frontier players know this tournament atmosphere already. Almost all of them have played far into the Western Mass tournament in the past few years. So, yeah, not a lot's going to shake them. Mm -hmm. Looking to become three time champs here. Although the road to that third championship will not be easy. And cross by Hamilton. Oh, players down in the corner. Can't quite tell who. Man, it looks like he can walk <laughs> on his own power. Is that Hamilton? I think so. Yeah, and he's going to stay on. Yeah. Maybe looking for a call there. Think like that. Here's the corner. Yeah, Jocks are throwing. What you say, Red? Get up, Red! Good pass by him. So possession here is just being dominated by Frontier Regional. Monument's really been forced to play almost all their guys past the 30 yard line. Yeah, Frontier is, looks like they're winning the size battle too. Really out muscling these Mounties. <laughs> Monument Mounties. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Isn't it the Greylock Mounties? Yeah, I think it's the like Greylock Mounties. It's not Red Raiders, but it might be something like Raiders or uh, yeah, I'm not sure. We did our homework on everything else except this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
can never prepare too much. <laughs> So now Monument's got a little something going here. Yeah, but Frontier is putting all the guys back in this. So now Monument has a shot. Yeah, free kick. Maybe get lucky. The Spartans, that's what it is. Uh, Spartans. I knew it was some type of fighter. Oh! Oh. oh, and Monument. What a save by Bronchi over there. Monument with two good chances. Yeah, that was a great shot on that free kick. And then that cross afterwards, going right by that back post. Somebody could have just tapped it in. Anybody yeah. could have tapped it in. That's a big what if. <laughs> Definitely. Wow. That sent some jitters to the crowd here. Speaking of which, a, a great Monument Mountain contingent here of fans. Love to see them traveling this far. Yeah. Maybe even outnumbering the Frontier fans. Maybe. Definitely louder. I think Frontier's got to step up their moxie. Yes, this has always been a problem for them, I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Georgie to lining up. Normally the fans come out in the second half. Well collected by the Monument Keeper. I think this might we might be seeing overtime today. That's just my gut feeling right now. Maybe. I don't know if anyone's gonna pull it away. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Oh, oh and a hard challenge. Burned here a little too slow off the step. And Timmy Barrington's gonna come in to maybe try to solve that issue. Yeah, add some uh add some finesse. That middle. Definitely an earlier sub than we're used to seeing from Tottenham too, so. Yeah, he wants something new. Yeah. Ball in. Oh. Monument got their head on it. So Barrington will come in from Mayrand. And Barrington will also take the new toughest player award with no gloves and no undershirt. Yep. So definitely ready to he's break the He's definitely the front runner right now. Bagden yeah. looking for the floor. Nice ball. He can't man. control it. Oh, and there's a hand by Frontier not called. Yeah, clearly unintentional. Good header by Hanaski. Hamilton can't sneak through. I don't know what the idea was there, but he Oh, and they give it back. Right in front of the goal. And there's a goal. There's a goal. A great goal by Frontier. 13 minutes in. Just softly hit. Yeah, bad turnover by the defense. Yeah, definite flip there. Gave it over right in front of the goal. And they're going to give that goal to Hamilton. Somehow he, got, he just got through there. Oh, never mind, that'll go to Lafleur. Hard to tell him for sure. And now LaFleur will steal it again. And Bagden will take a shot. Oh. Great look there too. Yeah, it looks like the goalie had it covered though. Frontier goal in the 13th minute, scored by number three, Ethan LaFleur, assisted by number 10, Zach and add Hamilton. And LaFleur's tally for the season, being the top scorer on this Red Hawk team, and overall in points as well, I think. 
Yeah, he play, uses his great speed to his advantage at all times and uh, just got through there. Yeah, re real slippery for those defenders. Corner for Monument. And it looks like Ari Venegas is going to be subbing in at the next whistle. Well collected by Brown. Good defense. minutes to the team right now. Yep, that's exactly what you want to see. And Renegas is going to sub in for Ben Arnold here. Hopefully you give him the rest from whatever. <laughs> whatever that was. Yeah. Bag and fighting for the ball. Unesky definitely gets quick when he needs to be. Yep, he's, he's just saving that energy for the rest of the team. Uh, the team is a little too strong for 
touch. Sloppy so far. Yeah. yeah Alex. A lot of turnovers from both sides. Not much of a flow oh. here. Yeah, I feel like a little bumpy out there. I mean, you can just see the, <laughs> the yeah. damage it's faced. I mean, the football team probably tore it up in their win over South Hadley in the tournament, and then just the rain must also be playing playing a part here. Yeah, I mean, I think they tore that field up worse than they tore South Hadley. <laughs> yeah. You know, you, you ask who the real loser in that situation. <laughs> Here comes a throw in. And Frontier is shifting their players back, getting into a defensive formation. Number three coming off for Monument. And Fleur looking for it. Can't get it. Do we have an official temp right now? It's well, uh, pretty chilly. Yeah, as official as it comes, according to Apple, <laughs> it'll be 39 degrees right now. Sloppy start as well. Yeah, I mean, this game is win or go home. You know, looking to just keep your season going for at least one more game. Yeah. A whole off season of hard work could come down to just one moment. Mm -hmm. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, <laughs> did. <laughs> Only one team will be saying the did, though. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> So how would you approach a tournament game like this? Would you just approach it as any other game, or would you really try to bring something more to the table mentally? Well, for fear of just overdoing it and almost psyching myself out by maybe prepping for it too much, uh, maybe I just try and keep it in my mind as just another game that you have to win. Yeah. And just really wanting to play solid and not psych myself out. But you really have to win. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to ignore that. Yeah. And you shouldn't ignore it. But you should definitely try and uh, control it. Yeah, if you're not one for pressure, then maybe sports aren't for you. Because mm -hmm, that's what it's all about. <laughs> when the times get tough, the tough get going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. <laughs> <laughs> when the times get tough. The go and get stuff. And good clear by Gorgita. Now the floor is racing. Field might have contributed to that fall, but it didn't look like a foul to me. 
No, you know what? Sometimes you just slip. Here we go, Red! Please can't do everything for you. And Renegus and Nesky coming off. Couldn't quite catch who went on. Maybe Mayran came back. Yeah, looks like, it looks like Arnold and Mayran. Here we go, come back Red! Let's go! Take it! There you go! Really just back and forth right now. Just total pinball for these two teams. Yeah, it hasn't been pretty, I can tell you that much. No. But, I know. mean, that frontier goal, they only had the ball for about four seconds before. Yeah. After they just stole it. Yeah, it came off a bad turnover. Yeah, I think that's the way that this Frontier team likes to play, though. Just keep on running it and forcing it over and over and over until you get something up. Just being really persistent, not giving up. Just wearing down that defense physically. Let's go, Mighty Matt! Let's go, Red! monument where you really want to put one away before the end of the first half or at least get some momentum going into the second half. Mm -hmm. You don't want to start thinking of it as an impossible task to even the score. And they're going to get a free kick here, sir. So. Yep. It's a big one. Couldn't take that shot away there. Yeah, Frontier over there. Keep it going up. Oh, and a stiff arm by Arnold. It looked like he really wanted that ball. He hit the X button. Oh, uh, yeah. Hit that truck stick. Get some pressure, I mean, People are just falling all over the place here. Yeah, I think the field's a little. A little dig up stuff. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> Despite the start of no shade in November, I'm not seeing a lot of facial hair on these players. Yeah. I think the best beard might be in the booth tonight. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Why is uh, Mr. Murphy throwing out a good one up there? I can't really tell right now. No. Maybe he is. Nah, let's talk about one of the commentators. Ooh, good clear by Georgita. Yeah. Bronchi hitting the ground. There's a counter attack. And the floor looking to switch the field mirror. Some parents getting heated over here from the monument side. Let's go, Red! Instructing them to take the ball. Yeah. A little easier said than done. Yeah, I think money was trying. <laughs> Kids with teammates that he's got it. Here we go, Red! Here we go, Red! Take the ball, let's go, Red! <laughs> Gotta love this atmosphere. Oh, yeah. 
And the fan section has slowly filled up here at Frontier. Yep, you know, it's a cold night, but you know, this is their team. Yeah. It's always nice to come out and support your team. One team, one dream. Oh yeah. <laughs> we're, we're all one team, you know. <laughs> there's there's soccer, there's volleyball, there's football, there's field hockey, there's cross country. But there's frontier as yeah. well. You know, we're all frontier. <laughs> That's for sure. Clear eyes, full hearts. <laughs> Can't lose. <laughs> you know exactly when to say that. <laughs> so do you know who the winner of this game will face? I believe they will be in line to face Southwick. Southwick being the... Uh, Another tough team. Yeah, the other highest seed in this side of the bracket. Not an easy team. Frontier was able to get a good win earlier in the season. Yeah, you got to think uh, Frontier got very lucky to be on this side of the bracket with uh, superpowers, Greylock and uh, Belchertown. Yeah, I mean, their road is not easy, though. I mean, Monument, great team. Southwick, good. I think Monument might be a little bit better. But still two good teams. But wouldn't you say the two best teams are on the other side of the bracket? Yeah, I'd say that side is a little bit yeah. really stronger. How they've been playing this year. The Red Hawks tend to come around late. Yeah. And good defense by Morris. Substitutions here by the Monument coach, number 10 and number 3, coming on for number 2 and number 7. Just under 10 minutes to go here in the first half. And Rodrigo clears again. Rodrigo always seems to be right in the middle of where that ball is, whenever it's close to his goal. Yeah, maybe we should just get a button that says Rodrigo cleared it. Yeah, Save that would be we don't have to say bit. it every time. Yeah. Yeah, good positioning by the veteran back. in after warming his hands. Yeah, he's looking to get him nice and uh, grippy with his big long send for sure. And he's looking for Hineski. How many throw-ins have we seen this half, this half? I mean, my oh my. Yeah, these ball boys are doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. You're Topman, what are you telling him about this halftime break in a few minutes? Well, I'm um, really trying to just keep their minds steady and uh, not have any bad mistakes cost this game and cost them this fantastic lead that they have. Yeah. I mean, this is, if they can stay and play the type of game, they'll get the win. Oh, nice tackle. Oh, yeah, Jackson, I'll let that. Not let that slide around his his area. That was sick. Big pass. Now Hineski's looking for Bagdon. 
just seems like they're trying to force things a little bit here. Yeah. Morse up the side. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh. That shot just a little too wide. Yeah, it looked like Bronco was kind of a little off guard by the shot coming in. Yeah, I don't think he expected that. He was looking to come up and play some defense and then took a shot. And you know, these middle-aged uh, parents from Monument are making more noise than the students over here for Frontier. Yeah, these young so much noise on the booth. Whippersnappers, you know. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> these boys, these Frontier boys, gotta pipe it up. <laughs> yeah. Boys and girls in the fans, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, they they were knocking those bleachers so much that the camera over here is, <laughs> has totally tilted. Yeah, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> looks like we might need to fix this camera. <laughs> All right. And the best beer just come back into view on the camera. And Arnold looking to do his corner kick like throwing. Oof. Finds Baggin. We can't get an angle on it. Everyone holds their breath on these little scrums and get inside the goalie box. Yeah, Frontier wants another corner, but Ruff's not giving it to him. Monument definitely seems to have a close knit group here. Everyone standing and cheering on their team. Mm -hmm. Not saying the Frontier doesn't, of course. Yeah, these Monument boys, they want it. We know Frontier. Oh, yeah, we, we hear about we it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to comment on that. Right. You're not going to get a cheap goal by Rocky, that's for sure. Nope. You're going to have to work to get it by him. Plus extra time. Hey, look out, look out. Frontier probably just trying to hold Stop on to the lead. Yeah. Yep. Greylock putting pressure. Oh, and here we go. Georgita. Here we go. This could be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Oh. The monument tackle is not fast enough. Yeah, he didn't have the wheels. Yeah, Sindhu put on the wheels though. He caught up to him. There's a guy we'd like to see on the track team there. Yeah, almost a bad mistake by Georgita. His teammates got his back there. Yep. Here's the corner. Oh, and it hits the post. Wow. Hit the post. And Gronky is not happy with his defense right and now. And Georgita is uh -oh. feeling something. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's chill. Uh, yeah. wow. Didn't see that. Monument's gotten some chances here. I know. And the rattling bleachers have moved the uh, camera. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you noticed when the camera moves. <laughs> well, I mean, I just, I noticed everything. Yeah, it's good you're keeping a good eye on the camera. I don't know if you knew this, but I played point guard in basketball. You know, Y'all know what's going on. <laughs> I think I knew that. I think I'm well familiar. Nesky with the big pass. Oh, 
Ooh, what a call by the ref. That's a, that's a questionable one there. Yeah, with two minutes on the clock. Greylock's going all the way. Oh. Or Monument. <laughs> Monument guy upset with the officials. Paneski claps right next to him. That's what you gotta do. Get yep. in the guy's head. Mm -hmm. This is a mental game out here. Yeah. Good defense by Morse. Very physical over there in that corner. So we're in the stoppage time now, but I, th I do think Monument's got some momentum heading into the half. They, they know they can get through this defense. Yeah, and you got a Monument guy down yeah. over there near the top of the 18. Something's up with him. Yeah, not what you want to see here. You know, he can't even, he can't even get up right now. Even with the ball. Yeah, this, is, this is bad. Take a little break here. Yeah, you hate to see this. I hope you can come back in here. Yeah, it's nice to see Bronco taking in there. Yeah. There we go. Nice round of applause as he walks off. Doesn't look like he can put much uh, weight on that. No. That leg. Unfortunate time that happened. Very unfortunate. Yeah. You know, next man up though. Yeah, it's gotta be the mentality here. Can't let something like this uh, deter them from their goal. They can hang their heads. Seems like we've really seen a lot of injuries this year though. Yeah, these games can uh, turn quite physical. There. It looks like they're going to play advantage. And give it to Frontier. And that'll do it for the first half. So Frontier's going to hold a 1 0 lead, and we'll be back after the break. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Yep. Monument. You know, they had some great momentum heading into that second half uh, towards the end of that first half, and they're going to look to keep up that intensity. You know? Yeah, you know what Coach Eric Taylor would say from the Dillon Panthers? 40 minutes for the rest of your life. Yep. This really is. All these great memories being made out here on the field. Oh yeah, this will be forever. Probably will be remembered more by the losing team though, because the, the winner's gonna have something more to think about heading forward. Yeah, and that's the end. You really don't want to be on the losing team. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah, not, not very fun, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> You know saying, winning, winning makes you better, losing makes you, I mean, winning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, <laughs> I don't know that saying. Uh, winning makes you happy, losing makes you better. <laughs> I actually just created it, but, uh, you know. So, yeah, I don't know that <laughs> saying, since you just created it. <laughs> what do you think of it, though? 
<laughs> I think it's got potential, you know, it could go somewhere. It's got it's got truth to it. Yeah, the delivery might need to be a little Yeah. <laughs> Maybe work on that a little bit. Oh. I'm not even trying to get some good passing together. No flinching there for the Monument fans, almost hit by the ball. Very impressive. <laughs> Hamilton can't find his man. Arnold, it looked like. And that ball will be kicked right to Morris. Or Mayrand. And Jocks will carry it. Jocks is definitely one of the more underrated players in this team. Always, always seems to be playing a solid game. Yeah, always putting hundred percent in. Really valuable on that defensive end. Yeah, and you'll rarely, you'll rarely see him come out of the game. So I think the word in on the injured monument player was a sprained ankle, and they're going to be delivering some ice for him. So I'd say his return is doubtful. Mm. Well, at least it's nothing uh, that needs uh, repairing or anything like that. And now Arnold's going to go with it. Oh, Just a foot race there, and it was won by Monument. Yeah, needed a little more to get to the floor. But Arnold gets it back. These monument players need to watch out for turnovers on their end. You really oh, now the end up monument them. player is jogging down there, so he might be uh, good after all. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd uh, shift that status from uh, doubtful <laughs> to questionable. Uh, you know, he's putting on the jacket though. Can't be a good sign. Yeah, more from that later on. <laughs> yeah. So today's trivia question, brought to you by FCAT, yep. is who is the only varsity athlete at Frontier Regional right now who is a member of the golf team, the basketball team, and the baseball team? It's a great question. We'll let everyone think on that, and we'll Some get back to it. very different bit. sports. <laughs> uh, definitely. Very interesting combination. Yeah. Frontier got ahead on that, but right to the goalie. Yeah, light work. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe a little shove there, and that's the monument player is not happy. Mm -hmm. And the ref's gonna stare him down a bit, <laughs> and he's gonna jog back. Yeah, the ref doesn't want none of that. <laughs> You'll love to see refs with a little gusto. Little sauce. Hamilton looking in for Bagnon. I don't out. know about that. It's a foul on this end, but it wasn't just called a few moments ago down there. So. I know some of the players might not be happy to hear that, but, you know, just trying to provide some unbiased commentary. Oh, yeah, and you're always great for that. <laughs> and now Hamilton, he wants it. Waving Georgie Toff. Yeah, I bet he's going to put one on goal here. Good position. Try to curve one in. Good ball. Just couldn't get through. Neither team can control for very long right now. Here comes a monument attack. Oh. Good stop by Sindhu. He keeps it in, but then hits it out. Uh, that's not a foul. He tripped over. And the 
bleachers are being shaken once again by the Monument fans. You get the feeling. Now Monument has up the side. It's going to be a corner. Yep. You get the feeling that Monument's onto something here. Yeah. They're going to want to make this game interesting. They definitely got a little pep in their step. Fleur getting some advice from the ref. Oh, and there's the cross. Brocky nice coming out. Ooh. I'm just just too, a bit outside. Yeah. <laughs> too much sauce on that. <laughs> bouncing, and he just put everything into it. It's not always about how fast you can hit it or how strong you can hit it. You gotta get it somewhere near the goal. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just like get nowhere. It's just like pitchers that can only throw fast. Pat Connaughton rings a bell there. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've been told he has a lot more than just a fastball under his belt. You know, although that 100 miles per hour does uh, certainly come in handy. Well, if you can't control it, it doesn't mean much. Oh, I think he has control. <laughs> you know, even even three years removed from baseball, and the Orioles still want him. <laughs> still offering Let's him Let's stay millions. on topic here. Let's stay on topic. Interesting that they gave Morris that goal kick. And we're going to see Brocky or uh, Georgita take that. Yep. Now Grelock putting it up that side, and that'll be a nice corner. Nice a nice play to get the corner there. These Monument parents threw on it. And we're going to watch an interesting strategy here with number 17 totally screening Peter Brocky. Going to try to, gonna try to Lock that visibility as much as possible. Yep. And I think Bronky's gonna. Bronky's not fooling around here. He's, he's just. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And a penalty on Monument, it appears. And a foul call. I'm not sure on who. Might have been the guy who was trying to screen Bronky. Maybe. I know I wouldn't try to screen Bronky. <laughs> yeah. Not a guy you want to mess with. No, no, no. Good pass by Sunday. Now Nasky gets it back. Right there. Now he's gonna just about <laughs> Just trying to channel the baseball commentary. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Here comes a little kick. Well delivered. Hineski looking for Arnold, who looks for the oh, floor. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Arnold puts it away. And he is amped. Oh, yeah, he is hyped. Zero to 100 real quick there for Arnold. The man is lit right now. That was lit. No better way to describe it. Pounded that into the back of the net there. Oh, yeah. And what a sell. <laughs> and as soon as he got by the defender, he knew what he wanted yeah. to do. He saw LaFleur running up on that left side. He knew he wanted to be the yeah. one to shoot it. He said, no, thank you. Yeah, he had the confidence in his left foot. Thanks, but no was that, thanks. Was that left foot? I don't know. I just He pounded that into the back of the net. Oh, no. That was just something else. That'll be his fifth goal on the year. You know, we, he we hear so much about Bagdon, but other players step up for this team quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, Baggin certainly having a great season with uh, double digits and points. But you also got Hamilton with uh, even more, and uh, Arnold with seven or eight, maybe. Yeah. That one just may have put this one away. 
might have been the uh, tack in the balloon for the real life. Yeah. <laughs> the monument team. It seems like the air is kind of been let out. Yeah, two goals is two goals hard to recover from, you know, with 30 minutes left. Especially with this frontier defense. Yeah, and I think this frontier defense is going to be working uh, extra hard, shifting their men back. Just a great goal by Arnold, though. Really a great first touch, and then just no chance for the keeper. Frontier goal in the 50th minute. And Frontier Scored rattling it around. Six, ben Arnold unassisted. Two unassisted goals today. Yeah. Well, I think they gave Hamilton an assist in the first one, even though it wasn't a real. You know. Oh, did they? Yeah, he might have stolen it from Monument and then shifted it over to the floor. Monument still pushing. Yeah, they're not giving in here. So, do you have an, uh, an answer for the trivia question of the night? You know, uh, that one really made me think. <laughs> You know, because there are a lot of players on each of those teams and uh, a lot of athletes. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think I got my man in mind, <laughs> Kalen Evans. You know, don't see him out ding, here Ding, ding. <laughs> that is correct. Let's hope our viewers, a uh, good portion of our viewers got that correct. Yeah, let's hope. Really no excuse to not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, such a, <laughs> such a star on that okay. baseball diamond. So that was an interesting play there. Bagdon didn't like the call, but it seems like he was locking the guy's arm against his rib there. Not letting him free. And that ball's gonna get moved back. Expect a shot on net here. Yeah, that one earlier. You got a big wall by Frontier. They're putting all their men back. Ooh, sneaky. That's getting... Ooh, and just wide. Whoa. And it looks like that might be a corner kick. Rocky was not happy. Okay. Yelling at his defense to, and I quote, step it up. Wow, you heard that? Yeah. Oh, loud and clear. You know, those ears, <laughs> they get a lot. And now it'll be a goal kick. Having Bronchi back just really helps this team though. They just went the same without him in goal. No disrespect to Connor Wakis, it's just the player that Bronchi is. All the experience. Yep. All, ooh. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. World chatter here. He's still got the hands from basketball. Yeah, it might be a few years since he last did it, but. Oh, that just came off a little wrong. Ooh, ooh. People are just slipping all over the place here. Mm -hmm. Bicycle action there from Messi. Frontier is still, uh, still keeping the pressure up. You know, they want another goal. They want to just drive this monument team as uh, deep as they can. Yeah. And lots of shirts.
the floor gets a quick drink from the sideline. players they just the clock is their enemy right now yeah and I think Frontier just wants that clock to wind down as fast as possible yeah get on to the next one yeah just leave they do get one one last day of rest than everyone else because everyone else played uh, last night yep that's true Got to be happy with Bronchi's play tonight in the, the net, letting no goals through and having that great save on that free kick early on. Yeah. Definitely set the tone. If that goal had gone through, you know, everything could have gone down differently. Yep. You know, after those early attempts by uh, Monument, Frontier just uh, showed some great mental wherewithal. Love to see it, man. And the Logic sweatshirt is back in the fan section today. <laughs> as well as it looks like someone that, that was disloyal to our school. <laughs> Down there. <laughs> All right, a monument. <laughs> oh, you're putting it too far on that first touch. That'd be a cool pick. Don't think about it too much, man. Don't think about it too much. <laughs> yeah, you know. Good boot by Morse. That was maybe mightier than a Georgita. Yeah. Okay. Coming up on 20 minutes to go in the second half here. Yep, three quarters of the way through. It's exciting game tonight. Yeah, every turning game has just got this atmosphere. Good pass to Hamilton. He gives it to the floor. He gives it back to Hamilton. He'll put it back to the ooh, floor. Ooh, ooh, go. Wow. And there we are. That's good. that's the epitome of passing right there. There is the third goal, and that is Barrington on the strike. They're just putting on a show now. After some great back and forth by Hamilton and the floor. The floor couldn't quite get the just shot he wanted. Passing. But I think that might have been a pass. You think? Yeah. That's how it's gonna go down in the record book anyway. Yeah. Timmy's just, he's, we said it earlier, he's been he's giving this team great minutes off the bench. We'd love to see it. Yep. And that'll most likely put the game away for Frontier. Yeah. Yeah, if it wasn't over already, you know. You just can't see this defensive Bronchi giving up a uh, three goal lead here. No, I mean, this isn't Belcher Town they're playing. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, they'd be in trouble. <laughs> Whoa, a little shot there from uh, the commentator. Just trying to stay on bias here, you know. Well, you know, coming off that Belchertown loss, this has got to be a big confidence booster minute. for the team. Scored by yeah, number they need two, this, sure. Tim Barrington. Assisted by number and three, a big round Ethan of applause when LaFleur. Timmy's uh, name is announced. Yeah, Timmy, not a fan frequent favorite. scorer, but... Fan favorite, though. Yep. For sure. You know, first playoff goal for him. So uh, at any point now, do you rest your starters if you're Coach Topman? Soon, yeah. I mean, you don't want to risk anything. They don't have a whole lot of depth on this team. It looks like someone's down right now. Yeah, I think he's just fixing his shin guard. He's fine. Good ball by Bagdon. Bagdon excited about that call. 
That really uh, made his day, it seemed. Yeah, definitely been animated over there. Yeah, trying to get in these mining players' heads. Don't think they paid much mind to him. Now Georgita. Will he put power or placement? It looks like power. A good header by the mining defense. It's anybody's ball. Good move by Money. So for Frontier uh, sports team, exciting few days ahead with the uh, boys soccer team. Look, look, knock on wood, looking like they're going to remain in the tournament. Volleyball team still in the tournament. Field hockey team heading to the finals tomorrow night against Greenfield. And then the boys cross country team, you know. Can't forget about football either. Oh, yes. They're yep. playing the Western Mass Finals against uh, Wakona. But, you know, there's been a little motto going around school. Can't say it on the air, but <laughs> they've got some well, confidence. You just, well, you, well confidence. you just did. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> they've definitely got some confidence going into that game. Oh, yeah. They're out for blood against this Wakona team. Yeah. It's bop season. <laughs> yeah. Those three powerful running backs looking to uh, carry the team. Yeah, looking to puncture that Wakona defense. But I don't know what Wakona streak is at, but they are really an impressive team. And there you go. It looks like DeMayo. Yeah, you think DeMayo coming on for Barrington here? Barrington wearing that big grin. Fun fact about Ethan DeMayo, he's an aspiring photographer. Check out his Instagram page, Capturing Conway. Wow. Some great shots on there. Jeez. I know the team. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, this weekend will be massive for Frontier Sports in general, you know. Yeah. Friday night with Bacona. Frontier taking off in that big, most likely high-scoring game. And then you got field hockey going to their fifth straight Western Mass Championship. Wow. You know, maybe looking for a rematch against Greenfield. Well, it already is. Looking for a rematch against Greenfield. <laughs> yep, tomorrow night. That's definitely going to be an exciting game. Definitely some major star looking power. for their third straight. Cross country looking for their uh, first Western Mass Championship. Looking to dethrone Greylock over there. Ooh. And then volleyball looking for their oh, yeah, 13th. Yeah, we know they're going to win. 13th. We really need to talk about it. Knock on wood, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that league is. <laughs> yeah, they got it. Uh, what? <laughs> I, 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 Taking I, I, shots at no, the I'm Division three volleyball I'm scene out here in West Mass? No, no, never. <laughs> <laughs> just confident. I mean, <laughs> frontier. No, it doesn't seem like that streaks ever going to end. Well, everything comes to an end eventually. Even Eric Taylor's run as a football coach in Texas. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> I mean, he did uh, continue coaching at the end there. Yes, for that not, new in college. Texas. not in Texas. That was up north. That's true. Looking out for uh, his wife's. <laughs> <laughs> Still hard fought between these two teams. Yeah, definitely. 16 minutes left, but still neither team is yeah, no let showing signs of weakness. The rest, too, are still looking strong. Got to shout them out. Pretty well officiated game tonight. Yeah. No Dave Sharp out here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. <laughs> Now Wakus coming on that speed. Oh! The minor fans didn't like that one. Out of the number 13, it's, it's giving Wakus that chippy. stare. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like, wow. Yeah, that, that was, that, a, that was, was like, after the whistle there. I'm going to compare that to a pitcher staring down someone who just admired their home run. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just a little close to starting something there, but, you know. He just put his head down and started running away. Hey, 
Hasn't been chippy all night, but oh, 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 oh. Good fight oh, by Monument. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, looking for Wakis on that side, and he gets by the defender. And he's going to put him it. across. Yeah, you know, you can't blame the Monument players, though. They put in the whole season for this, now they're down 3 0. Definitely going to be some frustration there. Definitely. And it's going to be a corner kick, it looks like. Um, Zach Hamilton. Oh, Back sure. to Jordita. Oh. Hard shot. Oh. oh. Maybe a foot off. Yeah, it just tailed away a little bit there. That's an amazing goal. Damn, we had a great. Dang, we had a great angle. <laughs> <laughs> good save, good save. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would have been something else. Just icing on the cake. Oh, yeah. That would go on the highlight reel for Georgie for sure. And the Frontier not satisfied with 3 nothing. You know, a lot of teams would uh, shift back in defense entirely. But on this Frontier team, it's not the way they play. So, uh, do you have any intel about where these semifinal games are going to be held? Do you know if they're going to be at Westfield State again? I'm not so sure about the semifinal games. Really can't say for sure. I know in years past they've been held at Westfield State, but not sure about this year. Mm -hmm. As we said earlier, Southwick, Belchertown, and Mount Greylock already through the semifinals, and the winner of this game will face Southwick. Yeah, Belchertown on the other side, the higher seed of those two teams, and picking up the third uh, Western Mass ranking overall in D1, D2, and D3. Who's number one on there? It'd be Longmeadow. Or no, Ludlow now. Ludlow. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Some rambunctious fans on the first row reminiscing. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> and Rocky will collect it. Throw it over here to Henry Wells, it looks like. Yeah, you know, I'd be a... Uh, no, that's Morris. I'd be remiss not to ask, but uh, will the train come? Ooh. Right. I mean, what a question that 12 is. 12 minutes left. You know, I don't have the timetables. I don't have a tracker, but I feel like it's coming. You feel like it's coming? You know, with the planes, you, you just whip out the flight radar, but... Now you should get the train radar. You know? Right, you know? With the train, it's just about the feeling, I think. Oh, Monument. Good skill by that Monument player. Holding it for a little too long. Yeah, You know, a couple times we've called these games and the trains coming right at the end, but those were 6.30 sometimes. So it was 6 sometimes. So we just missed it. Yeah. Monument really taking a shot from Jocks there. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a foul. Yeah, you know, both guys were going for the ball. Yeah. Maybe a little flop action there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely heard something yeah. from up here. I think it was the ball hitting his stomach. Oh, maybe. But this is going to be a great free kick opportunity for Monument Mountain. Frankie's always up to the task here, though. And it's good. There three is points. a field goal. Nice job. If only they could uh, <laughs> get three. <laughs> They skied a lot around here, Nick. Yeah. It's quite easy. Yeah. Just get a little too too much under it. Yeah, get a little too excited. Just try and smash it, you know. Yeah. 
Good ball to Ethan down the side. And he's going with it. He's got an angle. Uh, tries to give it to the middle. Sindhu took a hard challenge there, ended up on his back. These mommy and parents are getting a little frustrated with the officials. They're gonna play out the last few minutes. Can't count your chickens before they hatch. Yep. <laughs> or else you know what <laughs> might happen. The fox might get them. Or they might not hatch at all. <laughs> uh, you know, if some eggs don't hatch. Yeah, you know. You know count eggs if you're gonna hatch that don't end up hatching. Well, you, you've counted the eggs, I guess, as long as you're not counting chickens from eggs. Yep. Here's another attack. Yeah, you know what they say. Everything that counts is counted, but not everything that's counted counts. Ooh, I did not know that they said that. Oh, uh, they say it. <laughs> Are we sure that's not just a new one? That is not a new one. Really? Nope. So could you give me a little example? Well, I mean, you know, everything that uh, counts in this world <laughs> is, is counted. You know, a lot of statisticians, you know, they really just so? love to count everything. But, you know, you can't say that everything that's counted you know, how many views are on a video on YouTube, if that really counts, <laughs> if that really matters to everybody. Well, can't say that. I don't sure. want to get into this too much, but I, I would say the thoughts and hopes and dreams are not always counted. And that those things count, do they not? I'd say they do count, but it's uh, <laughs> quite, hard to, quite hard to count those things. So maybe not everything that, that counts is counted, like, as you said. Everything tangible <laughs> that counts is counted. <laughs> Well, now that's a whole different statement there. That one. You know, I still think I'm uh, <laughs> staying on to that original idea. <laughs> All right. You know, I don't appreciate you trying to <laughs> <laughs> debunk that great quote. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you can well, overanalyze <laughs> anything and just tear it apart. <laughs> but some things are just meant to be. Oh, and Wakus is off. Oh, my oh, God. Man. What is oh, no, LeFleur has it right here. He's going to try and get a shot. He has room. And yeah, now Hamilton will put the nail in the coffin. That's a rather morbid saying, isn't it? It is morbid. <laughs> it does concern death. I, I hate to overanalyze. <laughs> but just what a performance here by Frontier Regional tonight. You know, you really got to keep an open mind with these things. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really necessary. will come off. So will Georgita. And Loveland will make an appearance. Great goal by Hamilton, you know. We were, we were just waiting for it to hit the back of the net, and then he was the one to do it. Just got enough space to just put it there. Yeah, for Monument, you know what they always say, the grass is always greener on the other side, but in this case, Frontier's side, the grass is actually greener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would fit the situation. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look at it from the 50 yard line this way, it's looking pretty green. And, you know, Frontier's also moving on, so. Frontier from a metaphorical sta statement that. Uh, by number 10, my Zach saying Hamilton. is also true there. Yeah, yeah, it was. Nothing we can do to debunk that. I, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> and. He's going to send one on here. Long kick by Sindhu. Do you ever pull off the, uh, the attack here if you're Dale Tottenham? You know, I would, but knowing Dale Tottenham, that's not going to happen. Yeah. Don't want to rub salt in any wounds. Yeah, well, of course, here's Hamilton and Morse coming off. Of course, of course. 
That's how we are up in this booth. Always metaphorical. <laughs> exactly. And Noah Graves, the senior, one of the few seniors Ooh, on the team. Brian Loveland out there as well. Getting his first action. Looks like Sam Felton Emmerich in the back. Looks like some rain's coming down. Just noting this. You know what they say, when it rains it pours, and that's what the Frontier offense has been like tonight. Oh yeah, they are just <laughs> pouring in the goals. It has just been ceaseless tonight. And now Sam Batisti's coming on. Anyone else we haven't mentioned that's getting their first minutes of the first action of the night? Mm -hmm. There is someone else. Oh, uh, I don't think so, no, I think you got it all. Unless, nope, Hunter Adam Wells is out there. Oh, looks like there is one taking off his uh, gray warm-up right now. That is. He's about to come in. Kirk Alonis. And so it looks like Finesky and Bagman are the only players who have played the whole game so far, as well as some of Monument's more core players. Yeah. And you're right about that rain. Maybe you should be a weatherman because we can really see it coming down against that light over there. Oh, yeah. I'm, I bet the players are feeling it. You know, we're lucky to have this boost. That's for sure. That's fancy footwork there. Won't change the scoreboard. Good clear by Levin. And now Hannah Wells is the left side. side. Gotta turn it in eventually. And he accidentally dribbles out of bounds. That line, you know, it's pretty hard to see. Ooh, oh, wow. and Loveland pushed on the ground. But he gets up. Yeah. Oh, he wants Loveland's more. He wants for, more. He's calling for the audience. Wow. I'd love to see this. have come out in front of us. Love to see this be snow, but. Now, why would you love to see this be snow? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking, I'm looking forward to winter, you know? Yeah? Yeah, looking forward to all the great stuff that comes along with having snow on the ground. Mm -hmm. Skiing. Oh, of course. Snowboarding. Snowboarding. Sledding. <laughs> love snowboarding. Snowball fights, mm -hmm. snowmen building. Any more? I've got lots more, but. Oh, yeah? Give me <laughs> one more. <laughs> well, I've got to branch off Nordic skiing. Uh, I think that, uh, right, I think that falls skiing. under skiing. Uh, you know, I've still got lots more. Oh, sure. One of my personal favorites is shaking the trees as the uh, siblings walk under, so all the oh, snow yeah? falls upon them. Yeah, you got one last sibling to do that to this year. And now Monument ooh, ooh. gets a goal. Yeah, get a goal. So Bronchi's perfect night is ruined. Yeah, in the he's last not two happy about that. One. Seconds. He's not happy about that one at all. You know, he, he, knows, he knows they still get the win, but yeah. it looks a lot better on your resume to have that shutout. Yeah. And that'll be number five for Monument um, with the assist from number 10. And you know, that'll be a, a nice little sentiment going into next season for Monument that they got one salvage the goal in the quarterfinals. Yeah, sadly Frontier wasn't able to do the same thing Baltra did to them, but <laughs> almost. Keep bringing it back to that, huh? What counts is noise Monument captain. goal in the 78th minute. <laughs> no, what? Scored by number five, Austin Holcomb. That's the truth. Right what there. Assisted counts is by number 10, <laughs> Not Henry everything Rasha. that is counted counts. Uh, I think we've got to talk to Mr. Markle about this one. Uh, I'm sure he'll put one a... One of the top thinkers in the Nice in the physics view on that. Yeah. So now it's just the, the rest of the clock is on the ref's wrist here. The ref's what? <laughs> wrist. Oh. Because, you know, it's not on the scoreboard anymore. It's just on this watch, yep. which is normally worn on the wrist. I just couldn't make out what you were saying there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
something funny? No. <laughs> uh, I'm just overjoyed for this team heading back to the semifinals. Yeah, a lot of these guys out there, you know, this is what it is for them. This yep. is what they love to do. Two games away, two wins away from another Western Mass championship. And a valiant effort by the opponents tonight, but they just didn't have the power. And there's a final whistle. So who's your, your ecstatic? Who's your player of the game tonight? You know, player of the game, I gotta give it to Barrington. Yeah, you me know, too, actually. Coming in clutch. A lot of spunk off the bench. Gave him that third goal, was really important. Hamilton also a two goal, or a goal and one yeah. assist, yeah. Yep, the Fleur notched the goal, and Benny Arnold with another goal, so. This team's moving on to the semifinals where, where, they, where they'll face Southwick. Yep. So uh, thank you for watching the Frontier Community Access Television's uh, broadcast of tonight's boys quarterfinal game of Monument Mountain versus Frontier. And we'll see you next time. This yeah. is Karsten. And I'm Alex. And thank you for watching. Peace. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barry, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs.